What's most important so far so now? The framework and the product features that are available in the Cloud Blue technology. Because we have a standard product. Today we have more than 20 products. They are own products, not uh, third party products. Some, some uh, products are third party, but uh, it's the same concept that we use. But the most important part is because we just uh, create our services using that framework. And just that is a game change for us. Uh, the reason for that is not because the e-marketplace, e-marketplace is the brand we create around the Cloud Blue ecosystem. But more important than that is if I want to use any new channel, sales channel, for example, use the same product I'm already done to offer to that partner, an API that that, that, that partner can just uh, place an order. And that order will be processed exactly as the same way we do for e-marketplace. And that is the, the beautiful thing for this process. I love it. I, I am a passion uh, for this kind of thing because this is like the innovation I like. Is the innovation that you have perception. It's not the innovation for, for innovation, for anything that we can see in future. It's something that we are seeing results in short term. What I like in Cloud Blue is because we have a framework to follow. Mm -hmm. So if you are looking, for example, demand service to create something more standard to offer in the market, I can just use the framework, create a service description like a statement of work for a customer. We have a, a standard pricing, standard cost, standard everything, and then we can provide different value for different segments and different customer for medium size but the product is the same. That's the, the concept. So what we did, it's something, uh, I, I never uh, heard about that in the market. It's like an analogy, I think it's uh, the best word. We have software as a service, right? So software as a service like a, a software rental, right? And we did something like service as a software. So. We try to do the same use of concept of software as a service using the service as a software. So have more scalability, more standard, and use Cloud Blue framework for that. I think the initial vision was very important because the, the focus was to manage service for public cloud and also offer hybrid cloud for our customers, right? Um, I think I am in the group right now uh, as executive because uh, I have a good vision for the future. That's my, my role. I need to, to look to the future and think what's the next step for Nexus. And that's the reason Cloud Blue came to our, our reality, right? And um, I believe what we uh, are doing with Nexus that is very focused. We are not to talk about the local web ecosystem right now. It's just Nexus. It's very important to say. Uh, what the customer is looking for is their own transformation because they are being forced for that, right? So if we think in the customer of our customers, let's say the end customer of our customers, they are forcing our customer to be prepared or more digital or be faster or have more products or more, more features. So that kind of need need to be uh, adopted by a cloud, for example, cloud technologies, not just for the on premise technology. So what we see is our customer developing new applications, uh, already cloud native, but they need to keep the older or the legacy uh, application. So the problem or let's say the real problem for them is how to do this in an affordable way because they need to keep the legacy, but they need to keep the new one, right? And the hybrid cloud is something that affords this kind of thing. If we have, for example, a company like Nexus that manage both environments to the customer, it's different in a strategy to have, a, for example, hybrid cloud between two different cloud technologies. This is very important because the cost is not something that we can just afford for this kind of legacy applications. So the best deal for the customer 
is to have someone that offer a solution, a private cloud solution, for example, like Nexus in our own data center in Brazil. And then we have uh, the managed service, the same managed service, the same experience for public cloud. So that's the, the thing we, we can offer to our customer and then what they are looking for. And uh, that's the reason Nexus uh, generated value to our customer. Yes, yes, I uh, think uh, we have different kind of customer, different nature. So think at the customer in the very beginning of the journey. This customer is just trying to resolve a simple problem. They don't want to have more hardware inside the house or they need to change, for example, the, um, uh, their managed service provider because it's not supporting the agility they need, for example, or the services, the portfolio is not covering everything they need. And we have this, those customers that is preparing the, the new applications and those new applications need born in a new native. And that is the, the reason they propose for the cloud because we don't, don't need to focus on infrastructure as a service. We can focus more on platform as a service. And that is the trick for cloud technology, right? Yes, I think so. Uh, my vision for that is, let's think first for the big brands. We have big brands, for example, like Imperva. It's a huge brand worldwide. They have a web application firewall solution, a very nice solution, for, uh, by the way. And then we have a CrowdStrike. Uh, we, have, we are a customer for CrowdStrike, a big customer for CrowdStrike, for local web as a group in Brazil. And also we resell that solution in Brazil. So they are the big brands. We are using the same framework to bring those brands and those products uh, through our e-marketplace using the same framework. But the trick here is, and what about the small companies? And what about those companies that is having problems, for example, to define a good product, to define a go-to-market, to, to define a offer, a good pricing, and also be part of different ecosystems. Not Nexus ecosystem, maybe Nexus is just a way for that ISV have a solution available to Ingram Micro. And that's the, the trick here, because Cloud Blue system is not for any kind of company, I mean about the sizing. It's not just buy the technology and you are good to go. It's not, no, doesn't work like that. You need to have a marketing, a product team, a sales team. You have to need to have a, a, a specific, let's say, specific size to uh, be able to use the Cloud Blue technology in the way it should be used. And that is the thing I, I think is Nexus is good because we have Cloud Blue. We is we are learning the best way to use the framework and the technology, and we can invite ICVs small ISCVs to be part of that process. And I think this is the next step. Our job is to create something and bring technology that makes sense to our customer and have uh, the, the right information in the right, uh, let's say, uh, deeper, uh, the deeper necessary to explain this to our uh, sales executive and also to our customers. The most important value for sales executive, for pre-sales team, for product team, for marketing, is that we are asking for everything. Why this should be like this? Why we cannot do like that? I think that's the most important value that Cloud Blue generates in, in actual company, as a company.